Hello guys, thank you so much for clicking this video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about things you need to know before getting married. This is very important. Research have shown that after 100 marriages, only 15% are happily married. So this video is very important. Watch till the end to see the points I have for you. If you want a happy marriage, then avoid men with the following characteristics. The first thing is, if you want to live a happy married life, avoid men that get angry easily because the best thing they know to do is to get angry and when they do, they tend to make you angry too and this affects you both physically and emotionally. So if you want to live a happy married life when dating, try to find out if your man is quick to anger or not. If so, another point is if you want to live a happy married life, then avoid men that do not put effort to make you happy. Because when a man truly loves you, he can do anything to make you happy. So if you are dating and your boyfriend doesn't do anything, he doesn't put any effort to make you happy, don't accept his proposal. Because when you actually get married, it will become worse. He won't care about your happiness. If a man truly loves you, he will make everything to make sure that you are happy. He can even sell his kidney to take you to your dream vacation. So you need to take note of this point because it's very, very important. If you are not happy, then what is this all about? Marriage should be a place of happiness. So if you're sad all the time in your marriage, or if your husband does not put any effort to make you happy, then what is the need of that marriage? So you need to think about all these things to avoid unhappy marriages. If you want to live a happy married life, then avoid men that cannot assist you in the kitchen. This is very important, guys. A lot of men have like treat their wives like house help. Your wife is not your house help. So your husband should be ready to assist you in the kitchen whenever you feel sick or you, you, you're not feeling as to cook. Your husband should be able to assist you. So in dating, you can detect all of these things. I know sometimes guys pretend a lot. When dating, when you plan to visit them, they can even maybe or uh, try to assist you and all of those things but in marriage they might not do it so if you realize that this man cannot assist you in the kitchen then run for your dear life guys because a man that cannot assist you in the kitchen it means he doesn't care about you because as we all know it's not every day that you feel good it's not every day that you you if you go to go to the kitchen a good husband should be that type of husband that will assist his wife in the kitchen whenever she feels sick or whenever she doesn't feel like cooking or doing the house chores this is very important guys if you want to live a happy married life then you need a man that can assist you also guys you need to avoid a man that stops you from achieving your dreams yeah, as we all know, we have different dreams and different goals in life. Even before you meet your boyfriend or your husband, you have your own personal dreams. So if, you, if your husband cannot support you to achieve your dreams, or if he stops you from achieving your dreams, then know that that man is not a good man for you. Then your husband should be your number one cheerleader. He should be the one supporting you. He should be the one motivating you to achieve your dreams in life. So if you have a man or you are still dating and your man cannot support you and your man is even jealous of your success, know that in marriage you will not be happy. So it's better to avoid it as soon as possible. Don't allow, don't get into marriage with that type of man. So if you stay dating and your boyfriend is jealous of your achievement and he stops you from achieving your goals in life, then don't even think about getting married to him. Also guys, if you want to live a happy married life, then avoid men that cheat. This is very important. If your boyfriend cheats on you while you are still dating, know that in marriage, he will do the same thing. Yeah, you know that in marriage, he will surely cheat on you. And you know, a cheating man 
is ne is never caring because his attention is always divided. So if your boyfriend cheats on you while you are still dating, don't even think of getting married to that man because he will surely do it again in your marriage. As women, we deserve attention. But, but as we all know, a cheating man or a cheating husband, attention is divided. So you will not actually get the attention and the love you deserve. You need to avoid men that treat you as an option and not a priority. If a man truly loves you, you will be his number one priority. So if you're dating and your boyfriend treats you as an option, he doesn't prioritize you, then know that in marriage, you will be worse than that. So avoid men that treat you like an option. If, if your husband loves you, then you should be his number one priority. This is very important. Also, you need to know that your husband should be the provider. He should be able to provide your needs as well as the needs of your children. So if you're dating and your man or your boyfriend doesn't provide, know that in marriage, it will be the worst. Yeah, guys. So you need to take this into consideration. A man is the provider. A man, a man should not look at the wife's money. So if you're dating and you go out for dinner or for lunch and your man allows you to pay the bills, know that he is not a provider. He does not have that masculine energy. So if you get married to that man, that man will expect you to feed the family. He will expect you to provide for the family. And you know how tiring and stressful can, uh, that can be. I have seen cases where a man cannot provide for his family, thus he does not do anything to help or to assist in the family, and all the burdens is, uh, is on the woman. As you know, as women, we can't allow our children to die of hunger. So if you get married to this type of men that doesn't provide, that are not providers, then know that one day in life you will carry the burden on your head. And as mothers, we can't allow our children to die of hunger. We need to find other ways to provide food to the family. This is always the case in most homes. So you need to pay attention to this. When dating, look for a man that can provide. Another type of men that you need to avoid if you want to live a happy married life is men that physically abuse their wives. This is very important. You can know this when you are still dating. If you are still dating and your boyfriend raise a hand to slap you or then know that in marriage, he will surely do the same. So if you want to live a happy married life, avoid those type of men. A high value man will never hit a woman. So you need to be careful when you are dating. Don't just be deceived. Don't be deceived that in marriage, he is going to change because most often nothing will change also another type of men to avoid if you want to live a happy married life is men that are insecure insecurity is too bad guys if your man doesn't trust you how will your marriage even work it means that he will start suspecting you when you greet your friends or when you are with your classmates because he does not trust you so how are you going to be happy in that marriage when your husband does not trust you? You can take an insecure man right from the time that you are dating. Yeah, if your boyfriend doesn't trust you, you will know before getting married to, to him. Don't think that after getting married to him, after fully committed to him, he's going to change. No, guys, he is not going to change. Get married to a man with insecurities issue, then you will never be happy because he will always be suspecting you. When you answer a phone call, he will ask you, who is that? When you smile, he will ask you, why are you smiling? So if you get married to an insecure man, know that you won't be happy in your marriage. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video till now. I would like to know your thoughts or your experiences in the comment section below on this topic. Thank you for clicking this video. See you in the next video.